I just came from a press conference uh, up on the third floor with uh, uh, Chairman Inhofe, Senator Vitter, Senator Carper, Senator Whitehouse, and, and uh, Senator Merkley about the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety Act. So I thought I would talk a little bit about what we're trying to do and where we're, where we're headed. Um, Americans trust that when they go to the grocery store or when they are in their own homes that the products they reach for are safe. The current system fails that trust. It fails to provide confidence in our regulatory system, and it fails to provide confidence in our consumer products. We cannot let that failure continue. I rise today to urge support for the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety Act for the 21st century. It is the best chance we have, possibly for many years, to protect our kids from dangerous chemicals. The Toxic Substances Control Act of 1976, or TSCA, is supposed to protect American families. It doesn't. There are over 84,000 known chemicals and hundreds of new ones every year. Of all these chemicals, how many have been regulated by the EPA? Less than half a dozen. EPA can't even regulate asbestos, a known car carcinogen, since losing a court battle in 1991. So for decades, the risks are there. The dangers are there, but there is no cop on the beat. Some states are trying to fill the gaps by regulating a few chemicals. But my home state of New Mexico and the vast majority of other states have no ability to test chemicals. They have no department to write regulations. Without a working federal law, they have no federal protection, no protection at all. Even California, which probably has the greatest capacity of all states to test and regulate. In seven years since California passed a law to regulate chemicals, it has only begun the process on three. We have an opportunity and an obligation to reform our broken chemical safety law. That is why I and others have worked so hard to find compromise. That is why I introduced the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety for the 21st Century Act. I've been privileged to work with Senator Vitter on this bill. I thank him and our colleagues who have worked with us. This is a true bipartisan effort. We don't always agree, but we have one goal. Reform is overdue, 40 years overdue. Our esteemed former colleague, the late Senator Lautenberg, led the way for many years with great determination. His bipartisan effort with Senator Vitter to reform TSCA was the last major legislation he introduced. Two years ago, the New York Times endorsed the Lautenberg-Vitter bill. The Times said correctly that previous efforts at reform had gone nowhere. And the bill, and I quote, deserves to be passed because it would be a significant advance over current law, end quote. I was honored to take over the lead as the lead Democrat on the bill. Since then, I've listened to concerns, I've reached across the aisle, and I brought everyone into the room, or at least tried to. And with Senator Vitter, we have improved the bill. Working with three of our colleagues on the Environment and Public Works Committee, Senators Whitehouse, Merkley, and Booker, we made more progress. I want to thank them and Senator Vitter for coming to the table and working with us. I also want to thank our co-sponsors. We're up to 36 co-sponsors from both sides of the aisle, half Democrats, half Republicans. This is a big accomplishment. The bill is even stronger now with more protections for consumers and a stronger role for states to play in keeping their citizens safe. So I want to talk for a moment about how this bill moves forward. First, the manufacture of a new chemical cannot begin until EPA approves it. More than 700 new chemicals come into commerce each year. Our bill gives EPA the time it needs and keeps these chemicals out of American homes in the meantime. Second, current TSCA has no requirement for evaluating existing chemicals, none. Our bill does and includes deadlines even more aggressive than the EPA itself said it was ready for. 
Third, we require a stronger safety standard for all chemicals to be evaluated. No longer will EPA be required to choose the least burdensome regulation. Its criteria will be safety, science, and public health, never cost or convenience. Fourth, our bill requires for the first time that the EPA protect our most vulnerable populations, pregnant women, infants, the elderly, and workers, from chemicals in commerce or manufacturing. Fifth, Tosca is silent on animal welfare and testing. The Lautenberg Act minimizes animal testing and develops a strategy to do so. Finally, we limit the protection of confidential business information so that business can't hide information from the public. So let's be clear, we have a choice. We can continue with a law that has failed, we can continue to leave the American people unprotected, or we can actually make a difference. I believe the choice is obvious. Our bill will make Americans safer, not just Americans fortunate to live in states with protections, all Americans, no matter where they live. For those Americans in states with existing safeguards, that won't change. Those safeguards will stay in place. Any regulations in place as of August of this year will remain. And there is a role for states to play to help with the thousands of chemicals that EPA won't be able to evaluate. But the EPA has the largest staff on chemical safety of any country in the world. They should be able to put that staff to good work. To do otherwise is wasted opportunity and continued failure. Madam President, this has not been an easy process, but it's been a necessary one. I believe it will result in a good bill. We welcome a healthy, healthy debate. We welcome constructive amendments. And at the same time, we should not lose sight of the key goal to actually pass a bill. I believe we can do this. And Senator Lautenberg, who was a great environmental champion, he believed we could as well. He used to talk a lot about his children and grandchildren and that this bill might save more lives than anything he had ever done. We have a historic opportunity to create a chemical law that works and provide American families with the protections they expect and deserve. Let's work together. Let's make that happen. Let's not wait another 40 years. Thank you, uh, Madam President. And I, I uh, may do an additional statement after uh, Senator Durbin does uh, his statement on the floor. But I thank Senator Durbin. I've had some very good exchanges with him on this bill. I, I uh, look forward to, to working through the issues that Illinois has. I know there, Illinois is a big state. You care about uh, chemicals and chemical safety, and I just want to make sure that, that um, you're comfortable with what we have in this bill and try to work with you as we move down the road. But I yield the floor.